Welcome to a brand new episode of Mahindra Blueprints. In this episode, we've gotten together with Mahindra development driver Nick Heidfeld, where we'll be diving a little deeper into the field of e-mobility and taking technology from racing to the road. And Formula E, it's obviously very important to manage your energy because you cannot go flat out all the way. We have a lot more systems both in the car, uh, but also a lot more simulations done beforehand. And on top of that, a lot more communication between drivers and the garage who help you a lot to really nail it perfectly. And again, in the beginning that was not the case and there were bigger differences in strategy and how drivers handled that and I thought that was a lot more fun. <laughs> In Formula E you need to act and react so quickly. What also is fantastic for a racing driver is to have very difficult circuits. We only go to street circuits or mainly street circuits and the combination we have there on this Formula E car with a relatively low power at least compared to Formula One. What I also think is, is great because it's unusual is that we still manage to have a lot of overtakings which on a street circuit normally is, is, is quite difficult. <laughs> In racing we do something that is called lift and coast, which means that usually at the end of a long straight you come off throttle relatively early and just uh, let the car roll. And then actually before braking, or sometimes you don't even, even need to use your normal brake pedals, you just use recuperation and the engine to charge energy back into the, the battery and by that decelerating. And this is the quickest way not for this one lap, but the quickest way for the whole distance of the race to um, use as little energy as possible. I mean, there's no room for, for error and you need to be able to do some fine adjustments, ideally, but this is not the case if you don't have power steering. But uh, we don't have massive, massive amounts of downforce. As you can probably see, we don't have slicks either, so it's, it's a good combination, but it's uh, something you have to, to learn again. It's more based on achieving a car that is easy to drive, first of all, and secondly, suits any type of circuit and corners, and also should suit most temperatures and obviously on the different street circuits we also have a big variation in, in tarmac and we try not to spend too much time on getting a perfect car for each circuit just by the uh, way of the regulations only having one day and not much time before qualifying you would not be able to achieve that. <laughs> the first thing you notice is the sound of wind when you speed up, but this is not too helpful in the end. What was more interesting is to hear the brakes, to hear the tires, and also to hear the drivetrain. Sometimes you hear that there's a problem, that there's some friction, you hear some rattling, and this gives you some feedback about the, the state of the car, the balance, and what you might be able to improve. With a normal combustion engine, you hear much better when the RPM goes up, and that gives you a good indication of when you do get wheel spin. Sometimes even earlier, you might get oversteer, or that, that you feel it with any other senses. But this not being the case uh, so much in an electric car, you had to change your, your internals in terms of the sensors you have and this needed a little bit of uh, adaptation but it was a good challenge. Thanks for watching and for more insights on how Mahindra transfers its technology from race to road, stay tuned for the next episode of Mahindra Blueprints where we'll be diving deeper under the skin of a top level electric hypercar.